Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this smooth gradient design using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.8.4. So let's get started. Perfect. Before we start, we need to create a new document. For that, we go to File, New. And I'm going to use my 1920 by 1080 preset, like always do, but you can use any design that you want. Like always, if I right click is green, if I left click is red, and any keys you can see, it, see them in any key combinations that I press, you can see them in the bottom left corner. Okay, the first thing is I'm going to select my color scheme. For that, I'm going to create some swatches and to do that is very simple. Uh, you just create a square and I'm going to give it a color, something like this. Obviously you need to, you can choose any kind of colors that actually uh, match each other or... So I'm going to create two more swatches like this a square, sorry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this one for something bluish. I think it's something they will be fine. And this one I make a little bit pinkish. We can do something like that. Perfect. So now what we can do is we can create swatches from these four, uh, three rectangles, sorry. So let's come here to our right and I got my swatches panel already selected there and if you go to the top there, that icon there is like a, a three or four lines, you can click in there and you can select create palette from document and I'm going to select as application panel, a palette. So I got all my colors there. So now what I can do is I can actually click drag select all of them and delete okay now i've seen this design done in adobe illustrator so i thought okay let's give it a try in affinity designer and it's actually quite simple so let's get to it so i'm going to select my ellipse tool i'm going to hold command shift click and drag to create a perfect circle and what i'm going to do is I'm going to select no fill and I'm coming here to my to my stroke and I'm going to choose let's do this first sorry this one day let's give it something like uh, uh, I don't know 300 pixels make sure uh, that you have this link uh, click so whatever modification you do in one of the um the the size will do it in the other one the same so now we have this one is 300 pixels wide so what i'm going to do is i'm coming here to my stroke i'm going to click in there and i'm going to select 300 pixels as well something that is also very important for later on click make sure that you have selected with a scale uh, with object so now that we have that one, this one there, what I'm going to do is come in here to my color and I'm going to choose gradient and I'm going to change it for conical. And then I'm going to click in one of this color and I'm coming here and I'm going to select my swatch and I'm going to select one of the colors and then I'm going to, sorry, I need to select one of the colors and I'm coming here and click in this other end and I'm going to click in here and I'm going to choose this one for the middle. Perfect, now that we have this, what I'm going to do is hold shift, click and rotate 45 degrees and holding alt, click and drag, so you have a copy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it to 45, no 45, sorry. You need to rotate it 135 degrees. So now is uh, this is the a little bit tricky part that you need to align this in such a way that uh, basically are both centered. Let me see if I can do this and center them and they will be fine. And then I can click this one and drag it down. There you go. So make sure that basically is, is adjacent to the 45 degrees uh, line that you have in here. 
Perfect, now that I got that, now you can see more or less how this one is going. I'm coming for the second one and I'm going to choose my stroke and I'm going to ch change that color by using this other color. Okay, so now you have the three colors and you can see it's actually blending in, in the middle here. So now what you can do is you can here now to your stroke and start moving this line in one and moving in the other one as well until you don't see any any more uh, it's completely smooth in between both of them so I'm going to click and drag select both of them command J to unite and now if I scale you see everything is scaled together as you can see very simple very quick very nice you can you can create that, like a logo or put something some text in here or something like that now something that you've seen in my video on the, sorry in the original one is this kind of four corners with different colors so i don't know if there is a function here in affinity designer but i couldn't find it so i created something to create that background so let me hide this our design and i'm going to uh, lock it so i can't select it there is no way perfect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a rectangle that it co covers the entire canvas uh, let's change this one for nothing day and obviously this one just a color this one gone I said nothing day and now this one my rectangle so I'm going to make sure that it covers the entire canvas so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select first my fill tool and I'm going to create a gradient something like this you can use something like this and I'm going to move it a little bit there and this one sorry this one there to the corner i'm going to leave it in linear and i'm going to choose for example that one there we can choose that one and let's make it this pinkish there you can change a little bit these colors if you want later on you can use from swatches let me see there and make it a little bit for example a little bit stronger and i can move this one a little bit somewhere there now what I'm going to do is here on my tools I'm going to choose my transparency tool and I'm going to create something like this as well and let's make it something there perfect so now that we have this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to select command J to duplicate coming here to the top and I'm going to flip it horizontally and now what I'm going to do is select my uh, fill tool again and I'm going to click on this one, click in there and maybe change changing that color for, let me see, uh, let's change this color. We can use the swatches and let's use, uh, let me see, uh, this one there and in this one we can use something, this one. And yeah, I think it's something like that looks fine. Let me put this one. Let's move it to the bottom and command J. Anyway, I think that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you want to leave any comments, uh, suggestions, please do it in the comment section down below. Remember always to like, to subscribe. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. And like always, I'm seeing you in the next video.